Some 3,000 funeral objects were found in the pit of carriages and horses. It's a great challenge to get these items out of the soil without breaking them, and that's before all the dusting and polishing. For example, it would take a month for us to completely clean and restore a danglu, an accessory put on horses' heads. First, we have to fully examine it, study its chemical composition, then figure out how to clean it. We're like doctors treating a patient. It takes all the patience and accuracy of a doctor to get it right. In the lab for bamboo, wood and lacquerware restoration, specialists put all the relics under water while they are in line to be treated. Water keeps the items separate from air, which is crucial because both oxidation and dryness can be very harmful to bamboo and wood that have been buried for a thousand years. This is actually a simulation of the environment underground. When they were buried, there were no oxygen or sunlight. If not handled properly, excavation can cause a lot of damage. It's actually not that difficult. We put the relics in the plastic bags of the right size, seal the mouth, and connect the other side to the air exhauster so we can replace air with helium. Only one kilometer away from the cemetery excavation site are temporary laboratories for the various materials, not just bamboo and wood, but also silk, jade, gold and bronze. These labs function as an emergency room before the relics are taken to a professional preservation center for cultural relics. We can't take the relics straight to the preservation center. Metaphorically, we must clean the wounds first, get rid of anything that could cause a chemical reaction on the items. We need to study the patterns and details on them, and any kind of reactions might destroy those. Another task in the emergency room is to register the items into the Cultural Relics Archive. This includes 3D modeling and the GPS location of each item. Mu Fangzhou, CCTV.